learned about psychoactive substances have arisen throughout the course of civilization. When we realize that people learn how to use substances socially and they remit socially, the returning Vietnam veterans, the physician addicts, when we realize that addiction isn't something linked to some specific neurochemical or any specific chemical or even to like narcotics or opiate molecules or to drugs at all, but is it not limited to any specific area, but covers the whole range of human involvements, you can't call those things so naturally embedded in history and civilization and normal functioning in everyday involvements, you can't label that a disease. It's like labeling breathing and drinking water and eating a disease, which by the way, we are doing. Of course, we are on the verge somehow of linking some kinds of eating to diseases. I would say you can just you can go just so far in doing that, but I'm daily proven wrong as more and more things are labeled as diseases. In America, we're reassured to label something a disease. If we can say Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey, has a disease for being obese, it makes us feel better. Well, it's not his fault. He seems like a nice guy. There's nothing he can do about it. If we can say, well, people have an addiction to pharmaceuticals and we give them pharmaceuticals a lot, but some people get a disease and get wedded to them, it covers a lot of territory, it excuses us from a lot of basic things that we need to do.